collaboration. And we really like to think of Miro as a tool that complements um, the Microsoft tech stack for our clients, driving productivity, driving collaboration. Um, it's a tool that allows you to work together both synchronously or asynchronously with your team members. Um, and we really want to partner with Microsoft to be that shared workspace where teams can come together um, to complete projects and be productive. So with that, with our customers, um, we support a variety of different use cases, both at the team level um, as well as company-wide collaboration. Um, so we cover everything from onboarding to PI planning to design sprints, um, all the way to company-wide initiatives. So things such as town halls, meetings, workshops, um, the possibilities are truly endless. Um, I always like to say that Miro is a tool that can be used in so many different ways by a variety of different teams. And that being said, what better way to really empower our customers um, than to partner with another world-class collaboration platform, which is Microsoft Teams. Um, so Teams is an app that is built for hybrid work. It also brings people together, it brings teams together, and that in itself is a statement that Miro truly resonates with. Um, and that's why Miro's built a seamless integrated experience both inside Microsoft Teams um, uh, that has a variety of different touch points. Um, and it's really meant to allow easy collaboration uh, with internal participants, external participants, um, and also to just reduce any end user friction that, that users may be experiencing, whether that's context switching between applications, um, whether that's swivel chairing, whatever that may be. So that being said, Miro offers four different experiences across Microsoft Teams. Um, the first is a Miro bot, which gives you notifications right inside of Teams about things such as when a new board is shared, when you're at mentioned on a board, um, on a comment. The second is our calendar integration, and this allows you to add a Miro board right into a calendar invite and open a board in real time. The third is our meetings integration. So this is where you can actually open up a Miro board within a meeting and um, have everyone come onto the board when you're in the middle of a Teams meeting to collaborate and work together. And then last but not least, we have a tab integration where you can add a board as a tab to any Teams channel um, and share it with your team that way. And you can see that we have a variety of different touch points here. And the goal is to embed the Miro experience right within Teams. So again, users don't have to do that context switching um, when, when trying to collaborate with team members. So with that, I would like to lead into a quick demonstration of what each of these four experiences look like. First, I would like to show our bot integration. So you can see over here, um, I have, I'm looking at the Miro bot and this is, this is going to notify you in real time when someone comments on your board, when someone at mentions it, when a board is shared, um, when your invitees sign up, whatever that may be. Um, so you can see I have a variety of different examples here. Himali and I were collaborating a little bit earlier, so you can see in real time um, any updates to your board. The second thing I would like to show is our calendar integration. Um, so I'm actually going to click into this calendar invite. And in the top right over here, you can see that I have a mirror board um, embedded onto this invite that's gonna open up in real time. And this is really valuable because your participants aren't having to scramble in between emails trying to find the context for the meeting. Um, they can just reach out and uh, go onto the board pretty immediately. I also want to mention that this is um, interactive so I can interact with this board uh, right from the calendar invite as well. So if I wanted to add another board here, I would select the plus sign. You can see it, the Miro app over here. So I've already connected my teams, um, but you, from there you can see that I have a variety of different options. So let me just embed this one. And right now I have full edit access, um, but I can control the level of access depending on what I want that to be. So I'm just going to embed that in.
Awesome. And then last but not least, um, in any sort of Teams channel, you're also able to embed a mirror board and the same kind of idea here. Um, so if I select the plus button in the top right corner, I have the option to click on the mirror application and then same kind of idea. I can embed any sort of mirror board and then control access. Perfect. And then you can see the same kind of idea happens here. Um, whenever I'm collaborating in a team channel, um, all of my participants or whoever is a part of that channel now have that context um, and can jump on the board and collaborate in real time. And then last but not least, I also wanted to show um, this quick video that goes over the meetings integration where you can actually open up a meeting um, within a Teams meeting and have everyone come onto the board. It's an immersive experience. So I'm going to play this video. Inside Microsoft Teams. We have, hi everybody. I'm here today to give an overview of how Mirror is integrated inside Microsoft Teams. We have four different integrations uh, inside Teams. First, we have our integration um, with the Miro bot. This integration is a chat integration that can inform users of various activities that have happened um, inside Miro by sending users a notification um, so that you can see what type of collaboration is happening on your boards without having to leave Teams. On top of that, we also have a calendar integration. So here you can see that you can add a Miro board as a tab inside your calendar events so that your uh, participants can very easily access a board that they're going to use in a meeting. On top of that, from the calendar event, um, once it's added, you can actually join a meeting um, and use a mirror board within the meeting. So here you can see, because I had it added in my calendar event, um, it already shows up as a tab within the meeting itself, and I can easily share it to center stage uh, with all the participants in the meeting. Um, separately, if you do not add a board to a meeting, you can still do so within the meeting itself by going to the three dot menu and hitting add an app and going through the flow to add um, a board there, even if it hadn't been added to the calendar event prior. Last but not least, you also have the option of adding uh, Miro as a tab inside your team channels. Um, so here you can go ahead and hit add a tab and select Miro as the app you want to add. From here, you're able to select the board that you want to share with your team um, and add it directly into a team channel. This will enable uh, all, the, all the members um, of your team to collaborate on a Miro board from within Teams without having to do any context switching. Perfect. So we saw a couple of different things there. Um, first, we saw the Miro bot um, that gives you real time notifications of what's happening with your board. Um, and then we saw the calendar integration where you can embed boards right into your invites. Um, we also saw the meeting integration where you can open up the integration on a Teams meeting, invite everyone onto the board to collaborate, work together on a project. Um, and then we also saw the tabs integration, um, which allows you to pin a mirror board on um, any sort of channel and collaborate that way. And we've built these four different various touch points, again, to make that end user experience for users that are using Teams a little bit more easier. They're not having to switch between a mirror board and to meetings. It's all in one place. It's an immersive experience, um, making collaboration more effective. When it comes to just an admin perspective, so there's a couple of things um, the admin must keep in mind. The first thing is, so whoever the tenant admin on Microsoft Teams is must enable the Miro app um, for, for, the, for the Teams tenant, and it needs to be approved, um, which is gonna allow all of the end users to see the Miro application pop up from the app catalog. 
Um, and then second, so anyone that is using this Miro integration just needs to have a login. Um, currently, guest users aren't supported. So with just, just ensure that those users are logging in um, with their email credentials.